Hey everybody, just doing a quick follow-up video to the last one where I said I couldn't get this thing to work. There's a video that I'll link uh, in the description below, but here's how I got this to work. The battery was not communicating with the inverter. That was the issue. It was not the Wi-Fi dongle like I'd previously uh, assumed. So here's a quick video on that. So you'll start just with the battery uh, minus this cable. Act like that's not there. So you'll have your breakers off. You'll have the actual BMS off everything off um, and this not plugged in at the time you'll have to have all these dip switches all the way to the right then what you'll do is you'll turn the unit on that's a bms you'll turn the unit on and you just have to do this on the first battery and then you'll hold the second or i'm sorry the third from the left You'll hold that down about three sec three to five seconds. And actually I'm not I'm not able to do this because this has already been established. So you'll have a screen that pops up. You'll go to the CAN, C A N list, and you'll scroll down to Lux, L U X. That option. Maybe I'm able to do it on this one. Let's see. Then, you know, I'll probably screw something up, but no, it's established in. Anyway, so you go to the Lux setting, you'll go and you'll turn the battery off, the main battery. This is the, uh, the main battery you're gonna be using is the first one, the lead battery. I forget what there's a term for it, but I, don't, I can't recall it. So you'll turn that off. You'll switch this over to dip number one. See how all everything's to the right except for the first one that's on the left. You're gonna flip that on to the left you're gonna plug your CAN communication wire in with the unit itself. Power the unit up. All right, and then you'll have to go into the settings here. You're gonna hold that down. The little setting indicator is gonna pop up. You're gonna to go to three, three, Enter, make sure it's set to lithium ion, not lead acid. Mine is lithium ion. Enter. Then it's gonna want you to put in the battery type. For an EG4 battery, it's type zero. That is the setting. Uh, there are 21 different batteries that it's compatible with. You'll have to look up which number is correct for yours. And you'll, if that's all correct, it'll reset and Look, it says 54% battery, 200 amps. That's uh, 200 amp hours is what I have at 52.6 volts. And their currently state of charge is 54%. So um, if I wanted to, I could flip this on and start using my, this is a long cord. Uh, this will not be used in this application like this. This is just a proof of concept. Um, you can, I'll be, I can plug that in to my wall sub panel here. Uh, this is specifically for a generator. It has a protected switch on it. And I saw another YouTuber, Rodney Hunt. I've been following with him. He's got an EG4 uh, 6000 XP. He's having uh, issues with his uh, battery communication initially as well. So once you get that figured out, there's also, you know, there's a good online tutorial. I was trying to read through the manual and racking my brain on why is this not working? And it I actually found the solution uh, on Signature Solar's YouTube channel and that enabled me to get this up and running. Um, I know there's no PV input, there's no grid input and all that stuff, but I just wanted to make sure that the entire system right now uh, is functional. So that's, this is where I'm at. All right, we're pulling in 0.125 kilowatts, what the furnace runs off of. It's all running off of our sub panel currently. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll have more on this to come. Uh, I've got a lot of different projects going on, but you know, I'll do my best to keep you guys posted on this. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. You guys take care.